but it is folded up throughout the whole panel and it's actually pushed into the rear door. I'm gonna go ahead and take my new quarter panel and make my final cut. I have a Toyota Corolla here. This one got smacked good in this back corner and completely folded up this quarter panel. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but it is folded up throughout the whole panel and it's actually pushed into the rear door. So this one's going to get a new quarter panel, which I have right here. However, first I'm gonna pull all of this damage out, get this rear door gap to open back up and get close to normal, as well as get the trunk lid gap to line up good. At least get it close before I start cutting it apart. Then I will get this quarter panel cut off and start fitting the new one up. So I'm going to go ahead and take my new quarter panel and make my final cut on this bottom area. They actually have a section in procedure. I could put it in right in here or you could put the whole thing in, but I might as well put it in right there. And they have a measurement of 320 millimeters down from the center of this hole right here. So I'm going to mark that. This top cut, I'm just putting it in right where it came at. I just cleaned it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit this panel on roughly. And it's going to overlap the car just slightly. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna scribe it. Then I'll go ahead and lift this panel back off and I'll trim that out the rest of the way on both cuts and I'll have a perfect fit.
So I just about have this one all fit together. My door gap is nice and even and consistent. And then in the back, my gaps back here are nice and even. Bumper and tail lights fit good. So I'm going to go ahead and take this back apart. I'll have to lift the quarter panel back off because it gets some panel bond adhesive through here. And then I will get this one on permanently.
So now I have this little bracket that goes inside this fuel pocket. This holds the latch for the fuel door to work properly. This has to sit in the exact right location, otherwise the fuel door won't latch and sit properly. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drill two holes for two plug welds. I'm gonna actually bolt this door on temporarily. Then I will put one sheet metal screw in place to hold this in place and I'll hook up the cable and make sure it works properly before I weld it on. Thank you. 